Um, so yesterday, your, the resolution that you brought to the floor about masks um, was tabled. Is there anything else that your conference can do or plans to do to change the mask requirements currently on the floor? Well, we would just like to abide by the science. What's interesting is you look at this building, there's a chamber for the House and a chamber for the Senate. But apparently, COVID works differently in both chambers. Because in the Senate, you don't wear a mask. In the House, you have to wear a mask. The only difference is the speaker. She doesn't want to abide by the CDC rules. She actually wants to have greater control. That, to me, is a real frustration on all, all that we have happened. How can the Senate not wear a mask and then the House in the same building? To me, it's all about it. That's not true. Are you encouraging the rest of You said 75%. Half your conference is 25%. So when the going gets tough, Kevin McCarthy apparently gets going. This is the Republican House Minority Leader getting called out on his own lies regarding masks and vaccination rates of his conference and realizing he's wrong, turning around and leaving. Now, so that we're clear, because apparently this is too difficult a concept for Kevin McCarthy, the reason that the House's mask rules are still in place is because House Republicans aren't getting vaccinated. Fewer than half of House Republicans have gotten their shots versus 100% of House Democrats. Now, in terms of the math that McCarthy's having some trouble grasping, if half of the Republican conference isn't vaccinated and yet all of Democrats are vaccinated, that means that 75% of the House is vaccinated. So when reporters called out McCarthy for 50% of his conference not being vaccinated or 75% of the total house being vaccinated and his response was, that's not true, guess what? It is true. And even a basic understanding of math would tell you as much. Now, in terms of the Senate having different rules than the House, despite Kevin McCarthy's very, very compelling argument that Nancy Pelosi somehow derives enjoyment from requiring masks, the actual reason is that in the Senate, at least 92% of Senate Republicans have been vaccinated and all Senate Democrats have been vaccinated, meaning that 96% of the total chamber as a whole have been vaccinated. Compare that with less than three quarters of the House, and suddenly the difference between the two chambers becomes a little more obvious. Maybe not obvious enough for McCarthy, but you know, numbers can be hard. What's especially bizarre here is that McCarthy tries to play this off as this having everything to do with the building, the physical structure, and nothing to do with the people inside of it. As if one chamber with only a few unvaccinated people is no different from another chamber with well over a hundred people unvaccinated, as long as they're part of the same general building. As if COVID is passed through floors and walls and not human beings. I should note too that McCarthy started this entire gaslighting session by claiming that we would just like to abide by the science and even accuses political of not abiding by the CDC rules. Well, here's what the CDC guidelines say based on the science. Fully vaccinated people no longer need to wear a mask or physically distance in any setting. Keywords being fully vaccinated, meaning that because over a hundred members of Congress refuse to get vaccinated because God forbid they'd be viewed as capitulating to science, Pelosi is well within the CDC guidelines to continue to mandate masks be worn inside the chamber. If McCarthy really wanted to follow the science like he said, then he might want to make a basic effort to understand that science first. What's most ironic here is that if Republicans really want to end the mask mandate, they could. They're the ones holding it up. Again, the CDC says that masks can be removed in indoor settings among vaccinated people. The only thing stopping the House's mask mandate from being lifted are the very people complaining about the mask mandate. It's like whining about traffic while it's your own car that's stalled out on the highway. So until Republicans actually fix the problem that they're creating, they're really not in a position to be crying victim. So instead of whining, instead of complaining, instead of holding press conferences, if Kevin McCarthy and his conference want to be freed from the prison that is wearing masks, there is a simple step they can take. And if they won't, then that's fine, but Pelosi isn't gonna put her own members at risk because Republicans seem hell-bent on causing people to die. To see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And for a deeper dive, check out my podcast, No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen, where I discuss the week's top stories and interview major players in the world of politics, like Vice President Kamala Harris, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki, Elizabeth Warren, Chuck Schumer, Katie Porter, Pete Buttigieg, Nancy Pelosi, and many more. Again, that's No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen, available anywhere you listen to podcasts.